Come on, come on, come on. Load it up, 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 load it up. Hello everybody and welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Beanin and today we are going to prepare a village to become Raid Bait. Raid Bait, yes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode as we pick one of these villages to become our main source of income, our main source of iron, and bait for our raid farm. And before we get into today's video, I want to draw attention to something. If you see right here, right under my finger where I'm pointing at in the screen, there's a new logo. Uh, I have taken up a sponsorship mainly for discounted blender bottles. So if you want discounted blender bottles or energy or hydration mix, you can use code BEANIN for all purchases to get 10% off at checkout. I'm sorry I did that, but I'm not going to talk too much about the sponsorship because I am not paid to do it. I am not paid in any way. Actually, I just get a discount, but I just wanted some discounted blender bottles and some hydration mix because I'm always going and exercising after these videos. So if you're thirsty or just want to check it out, go to w.gg. They have a decent list of products and I have enjoyed the hydration packs so far. I haven't tried the energy, but if you're ever thirsty, use code bean and you'll get a discount and that's enough selling out for today if you missed last episode we went ahead and collected every farmable sapling and built a rudimentary uh tree farm for each of them so here we have our large trees here we've got birch and oak and here we've got our special weird shaped trees because we're not going to farm these that much somebody did say that we forgot bamboo but i already have bamboo and for some reason i don't classify that as a wood even though it technically is but we will be utilizing our tree farm today as I want to build a wall around one of these villages. Before we get started on that, I'm gonna have to go to each of these villages and evaluate which one is the most intact, which one's the closest together, and which one will be easiest to farm as raid bait. And in terms of off-camera development, I actually didn't play too much off-camera this time. What actually ended up happening was that I started playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 because that game finally came out. And you know, I've honestly had a fun time on it. I think it, what is it, three, two? But I've honestly had a fun time on the game. Um, you know, the game itself isn't bad. The players, well, <laughs> you know, what can you do? I'm gonna need one of these spy glasses so that I can zoom in on things. We can take a quick look at what villages we have and kind of weigh the pros and cons of each of these villages on our horizon. So first we have this one. This is a large village. I think I might convert that village into something for profit. So basically develop the villagers, make sure they have all their trades, get trading with them, etc etc build a city out of that village this village over here kind of spread out it looks like it's a smaller village i don't know what i want to do in terms of using that village i could use it for profit or whatever now this village right here might be a little hard because it's on the water and that is usually a good one for trade having looking looked at these that one i think is also having looked at these okay they're all in the water but having looked at oh my god yeah, you're creeped up on me. Just like, just like the, <laughs> the comment of the, the whiteboard comment. Oh no, a creeper. You foreshadowed it. Oh, did he die? How'd he get up there? What the heck? Wow, what the heck? It's like Creeper City up here. How about you? Go away. One up here. And then there's one right there. What the heck? Oh, buddy. Oh, there's another one. What the heck? Hey, go join your friend. Okay. Sir, go on. No. Oh. Okay, weird amount of creepers this morning. So I realized that cursory look did not solve anything. And I'm going to have to go and look at these villages. Now, what I'm considering is how well I can block off the village. If you've watched Luke the Notable's videos, he's gotten really good at blocking off villages from raids. The question is, do I relocate all of the villagers into one area and then trigger my own raids from inside that one area? Or do I build a wall around the village and then trigger a raid and see what happens? Because with my skill set, I probably shouldn't combine the village that I make profit off of and the village that I use for raids. I think I might have like four or five villagers relocated 
complicated, but I don't, I don't know. And what I'm looking for running down this like road in the village is if there is a massive hole, because most villages now are surrounded by a massive hole. And if I can mix up a village for the farm, then I can work with, you know, work with making it a raid village. And it looks like this one doesn't have a massive hole in it, which is good. I need that. Now, am I going to bring some of these satellite buildings in? Maybe I might just, you know, work on the roads uh, and see how it, see how it goes. I'm thinking this one might be a great profit village because there's a lot of villagers. And it looks like we also have librarians here, which is good because we can see what their trades are. Some of them might even have men in curse of binding. I should kill you. Oh, we've got like three villagers in here. What do you have? Punch two. Okay. Uh, bookshelf. That's kind of bad. I should kill you too. But village number one is looking pretty good for a profit village. I think with some refinement and cleanup, we can get it going to a great village for the villagers to live in. There's a large hole all in that okay moving on to the second village we have what seems to be a sparse village it seems like there's only a few buildings here and it seems like they're pretty spread out now here is a large hole and the reason i'm looking for large holes and stuff is a i don't want the raid members i don't want the raid members to fall down and then be stuck on a phase of the raid because uh binky here is hanging out down on that grass block or down there now with a hole like this i doubt any of them would survive that fall but you never know. But overall, this is a solid contender for a good village. I think we can use this one as a profit center as well. But let's check on the other village where I started and see how that contends with the other two. And you know, walking between these three villages have given me a crazy idea. I can easily connect all of these, you know, in like a live stream or something and have pathways going in between them and make three cities. Because I mean, this one was like, what, maybe a hundred blocks away? Well, more than a hundred blocks, but you know what I mean. Now, as for this village, we have... Well, we started out here, as you can tell, there's a lot more trees. It doesn't seem that there are any huge holes in the village, which is good. That's good. My main concern is villagers getting got by, you know, uh, <laughs> villagers in the water. And it seems that this is the only connection to the outside on this side, which is good. We have a little lake for the villager fishers. We're surrounded by water on three sides, which strategically and historically has been useful because it's very hard to attack from water especially in minecraft and the village isn't too spread out so that's good in my book as well so i think we have a winner here and i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up this village prepping it for getting the definitive lines of where i want the village to be as in like the walls and then we can continue on from there and start building the wall around this thing now my first order of business is going to be to clean up these pathways just so that i know we have a good handle on where the village limits are at least visually speaking i don't know anything about how the game considers what is and what isn't a village now, i don't know who does the city planning on these villages but they really need to be fired this is the second light post i found in the middle of the street now this center area is always a mess so i'm just gonna leave it as is and just get rid of all the grass there's no point in trying to make any symmetry out of this but i will make sure there's like a path around this little square area look at all you you guys have no idea how good i'm about to make your lives little do they know i'm going to use them for profit all right now that portion is complete. We've cleaned up the area. I'm going to go dump off all this junk into some poor villager's house. And we'll head back up to my house right there. The beautiful little mansion on a hill to get some spruce wood because I don't have the cobblestone or anything for what I have planned. And I want to start with wood just to get these guys locked in and prepped for, well, being raid bait. Now, before I build the wall, I might actually need to take a look at YouTube and see how raid mechanics kind of work, where they spawn uh, and stuff like that. So while I'm waiting for these trees to grow and collecting the wood from them, I'm going to be doing some research off camera. And I've just had an idea of what I can do for that tower in the future. Look at that mountain right here. That would be a great great tower renovation down the line when I have more resources and whatnot. So I didn't have to do much research to find out that the best thing to defend against pillagers is a wall. Shocker. Now, whether I want that wall to look good or not is up to me, but I'm thinking I'll do a mixture of fences and logs. But before I do the fences and logs, or at least the log, I want to make sure that I cover it with fences first. And that's mainly because the last time I did a raid, I accidentally killed all of the villagers in my village. If I can find it, I'll show you clips from it. But 
I think you can get the general idea. All right, and it seems we have plenty of fences so far. Might be enough, this might not be enough, I'm not sure. The main goal here is ensuring that the pillagers can't get to the villagers. I mean, how else am I gonna cash in on that sweet, sweet discount? Now I'm gonna start by encompassing the whole village just by in one fence so that I can get an idea of you know how it's going to look now i think for this wall i'm not gonna go too crazy i don't want to have you know anything where they can spawn in so i'm gonna kind of stick close to the houses give them enough i think it's a 64 by 64 block radius but i'm not gonna take the chances with that one and i'm just gonna stick to having the villagers in a nice little enclosed space. All right, so this is the first side of the fence. Like I said, the goal here is safety, not style. So I think we should be creating a nice little safe haven for these villagers. Once I do a raid in here and figure out where they spawn and what they do, I can expand the walls. But right now I'm gonna lock out that cat and any potential uh, raiders that will come through. And I know that technically I should be okay with having a one high fence, but I don't want to risk it. And also I don't want the villagers to get shot. Also pat on the back for me for getting this wood farm done early. I don't know what I'd do without it. This is making everything so much easier. Although I would like it if I could see my screen. Gosh, and that should do it for fence around the village it is completely encapsulated right now i don't think anything can get in or out unless it's me because i possess intelligence that these villagers do not have i also added just a quick in and out area right here so if i need to jump under and get some pillager or something that's stuck i can but a uh, pillager won't be able to get under here because their natural code i guess will tell them that they need to swim so they can't sink down below so we're good there here, I just blocked it off. I know one would be okay, but if one gets back there, they can shoot in and you know. But now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that nothing can spawn. Uh, well, nothing can get caught up in the grass here. I don't really like long grass in villages. So we're gonna get rid of all this grass inside the fence. I just noticed this. I don't think anything's gonna spawn until I can find the proper medium. Block this off, AKA get more dirt. I'm just gonna fill that with some fences so nothing can get through. You can never be too careful. What the heck are you doing in there? Get out. Now that we have this, I think it might be safe to start working on some measures that I can use to get up on top of here and fight pillagers. So I've got a lot of materials here, which is good. I'm going to create a gate and some dark oak parapets, I guess. Uh, enough just pathways I can walk across the top of this without having any villager issues. And then I'm actually gonna double down on not wanting the spawn or not wanting spawn ability. So I'm going to actually convert the entire interior of this village into non-spawnable land. So halfway through this, I realized that I was kind of creating a reverse prison. It's for the safety of the villagers and I don't think they care. My thought process behind turning all these into path blocks is since path blocks aren't spawnable, it greatly reduces the chances of a pillager spawning in the village. I've also built a little watchtower here so when we have a raid, I can start seeing where they come from and so on and so forth. I'm gonna create a ladder right here so that I can get up and down without dying. And there we go. Now with a telescope, I can look and see where they're all coming from. From. The only blind spot I have is right in that corner and right back there, but I assume they're going to be coming from mainly this area. I don't think they'll be coming from around there and they might spawn over there, but at least now I have a way to look and see. And of course, I'm going to get in and block them in before I do a raid. Oh my god, that's good water. You ever just have those days where you just like want, like crave water? I think that's thirst, but you know, who cares? All right, I'm not going to put too much emphasis on despawning, despawnifying the whole compound. I think this is good enough for me, and we should be able to start working with uh, parapets. I believe that's what that's called. And I think I'm going to put a little like gatehouse of sorts right here, um, just so I can get up on top of the fences and whatnot. And I can replace this with fence gates in the future so I can get, so I can get in and out. I'm not going to do anything too fancy here, but I'd like to just do this. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think I will add maybe like mini towers of sorts. <laughs> I know this is like very low budget and I wouldn't say low effort as I'm trying to get the functionality down, but <laughs> I mean, the goal here is to have a functional, you know, sort of fortress against the raids 
And if I can do that, then... And I should point out that I don't need the entire wall like this. I just need a majority of it like this because, well, you know, they're going to be pretty predictable in how they move. So I just need some access. I don't need to be able to access, like, uh, say if I get over here, I don't need to be able to access this little spot right here directly. I can just stand here. You know, it'll probably be good for me to get food before I starve. Speaking of which, next episode will revolve around food and our farms. And look at that. You can see the little, you can see the tower and the fence post. It's kind of cool. And remember, like I said, this fence is temporary. I'm going to make it into a better looking wall eventually. But for now, we'll just keep it as fence because it's cheap. It's fast and I can see through it, which is the most important for the first raid. See, like right here is a perfect perfect example of I'm not going to need the parapets over this side because I mean look it's just water and I'm guessing that this side will mainly be safe just because that's all water too so I don't have to focus on that I don't really need to focus on over here I might add like a gate but I don't need parapets or anything because it, there's just no need to allocate the resources for yeah, you know, the occasional pillager that might come out here, but thinking, you know, proactively, which is something rare for being in, I might just add one down the strip of this in case, you know, they do spawn because you never know with this game. But I will primarily be looking at this side because I have a feeling they're all going to come from this side. And weirdly enough, I am going to have this area like this so that I can reach over here in case the pillagers start coming this side and want to wander over here to this little area because this way i can also get up here and shoot them from this section and i don't think they can get up on those trees i don't know if they can spawn in trees but i'd be surprised if they did but either way that should keep us safe <laughs> right there we have it a fully functional fort for the villagers i think i added some parapets down here facing that direction have parapets facing this direction and have parapets facing that direction now this way i can sit here start the raid and then i can look and see where they might spawn and then run down and deal with them accordingly okay now i don't have much to be prepared for <laughs> and also this is bad omen 3 so it's gonna be a doozy of a raid now this is honestly perfect for my first raid because it'll test where our flaws are it'll show us where everything is that we need to fix with the current fort design and it's not that i can't take on the pillagers and the raid mobs themselves it's that i can't take them all at the rate that they come because you know it becomes a lot once you get those evokers in there and everything it's it's just hard man a trusty little fort should do us well and i think having some iron golems in there will also help with any guys that spawn in there within the walls and for now this will serve as command central because i mean i've been been living in here the villagers i mean have no choice of having me in here oh he's doing it <laughs> uh reminds me of greg but i brought some extra food and i'm gonna take these blocks and it's actually perfect timing because i'm gonna wait for every villager to get in their bed for starting the raid okay let's make sure there's not one in here okay actually that's okay there we go make sure you're all tucked into bed or at least in a house thank you nobody in here Cool. I just realized this guy has an upstairs, so let's take care of that real quick. Uh, you know, I'll just do that. Yeah, you can't get up that ladder then. Just to make sure. <laughs> now, I will personally sleep right here next to the bell, and we'll start in the morning. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I'm a little nervous. I mean, as nervous as you can be about a video game, but here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was a little confused. All right, let's see where they go. Wait, how did you guys get out? Oh, I forgot the others. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Let's see where they're coming from. All right, they're coming. Our first wave is coming from over there. Let's see if we have any others. Nope, it looks like they're all stuck out there. Cool, cool. So I'm just going to keep this recording and... Oh, wow. Oh, dang. The iron golem's getting them. The iron golem took care of everything we of everything for us all right let's see where this next one spawns oh they're coming over here i see them looks like we've got an evoker a few of them actually yeah see this is nice is this unfair i wouldn't say so oh my torch yeah ow sir got two raiders remaining run out here and grab this 
Let's see. Okay. So it looks like they kind of run around yeah. here. They kind of try and find a way in. Hello? See, when it's like these guys, I can take them. That is fine. Now, let's get back into the village. Thank you. Sounds like they're coming from over here, and they are. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Oh, we got a Ravager. Oh, here comes the Ravager. <laughs> Come here. Maybe I can get up here. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So he can reach me up there. That's good to know. Okay. I'm just going to walk out of the line of sight right here. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Okay. So pros of this, I can just have them come here if I need them to. Now, this isn't cheating. Luke the Notable does this. This isn't scummy. Because we all know my skill level at this point. Ow, I keep hitting the torches. And then... This guy is usually... Okay. Oh, look, he dropped a saddle. <laughs> all right, let's see. I have a feeling they're going to come from over here. Yep, they're coming from right over there. Let's see. Oh, we got some witches. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to invest in... Uh, what's it called? I'm gonna have to invest in like arrows, a lot of them. So maybe if I can find a skeleton spawner. Oh, that guy has knockback. All right, let's. Okay, I can't shoot through here. So the witch is gonna be healing them. And you know, honestly, kind of doing the work for me. Not poison themselves. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So I'm poisoned. Okay. Oh, I might die. Hold on. And yeah, let's take this time while I'm waiting to stop being poisoned. Um, to get over here. Actually, let's go up here. Let's see where they're all congregating. Because I know they're going to trickle in, but... Okay, yeah. They're basically all just not going to come in. But this is great. This is the first raid I've had where I didn't die. Uh, there's my potatoes. Shoe here. Because I might have to upgrade to stone. Just because I think the only way I could get rid of the witches in the raids easily is what's it called? Is that an evoker? Okay. So as long as whoa, that's bad. <laughs> I was gonna say as long as the witches aren't around, I can make progress. Oh, thank you. Yes. I'm splashing potions. Oh dang it! I hit the thing again. Okay, so no range weapons. That is my weakness here. Okay, but I also have regeneration at the same time. Okay. If I hit them... I, I was going to say, if I hit them, though, they should... You know, not, like, start poison at me. <laughs> that's okay that's okay i mean i expected that to happen just gotta make sure none of my stuff went over the edge at least i need are you on put you right there get my boots on is sir what was that slowness oh i think it's funny mr witch you know i'm gonna go back in make sure i got my stuff you and it's only gonna get harder from here i know that but you're good to go on that front where's my food thank you
this is a, yeah it's a decently slow raid there's we got a witch right there witch right there are there any other guys around here i feel like there's an evoker but at this point i do need to go out and just kill them so let's do that <laughs> they're gonna keep throwing their crap at me so i'm gonna throw a sword in their face Now, where's the other guy? My guess is he's stuck somewhere. Hello? Hey, buddy. Okay, I'm tired of this hitting sound. I swear I... S Oh, I was like, where's my pig? Hey, you can stop poisoning me now. Where is he? Hello? I don't see him anywhere. Oh! <laughs> there he is. He worked his way all the way over here. That's okay. Alright, now let's see where they go okay so i'm learning a lot about where they're coming from and like how the raids are gonna look in this so far not bad now we gotta wait until the evokers get here because those are gonna those are gonna be a doozy okay they're coming from over here this time oh they're sprinting okay we got an evoker wow wow that evoker is very fast all right let's see what he does uh -oh. All right. Oh, okay. These guys, these make me mad. Stop it. These always get me. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay. That's, that's good to know. Let me stand up here for a second. Let me go in here. Get some meat. Maybe throw my stuff in a chest. I don't want to lose. And that should be good. So I've noticed that without... Oh, thank you, Mr. Villager guy. <laughs> but I've noticed that without ranged weapons, this is... This setup is hard. Oh, here comes more. What are those? Vexes? Ow! Oh, what the? Yeah, those are vexes. Oh, my God. Stop it! Oh, you make me angry. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm still counting this as a success because no villagers have died. Now, I have not killed any enemies yet. Also, the raid bar went away. Okay, don't want to get touched by that. Can you stop? Okay, I think I can block the vexes. This guy is making me angry. Ah! Okay, this is... This is gonna be a lot. I've died so many times. All right, let's try this. It's still a success though. It's still a success. Okay, so I can use my shield against these guys. Mm, these things make me angry. These are like the pixies from Harry Potter. Can you get off of me? <laughs> oh no, that was my last arrow. Okay, this is annoying. If I just died so much that it ended the raid, I wish these guys would drop like. I wish they would drop, uh, what's it called? Like arrows. You think they would? I gotta make sure too. Okay. 
The other guys seem pretty chill. <laughs> like they're getting bored. Look at that, they're just wandering about. Hey. You guys. Are they just like, yeah, the raid's, raid's over, man. Yeah, because the raid bar is gone. I'd say this seems cheap, but nah. Oh, I need my axe. Where's my axe? Oh, I guess I put it away. It's like, hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> there's still a raid. What's going on? Mr. Evil Guys. And they're just chilling. And there's this guy, right? Yeah. Hey supposed to be attacking me okay that's not what i wanted that's not good either <laughs> should have seen that coming honestly don't know where he went do i care i don't think so okay thank you for that cool gang's all here did my shield break hello ah stick ah you're over here Dog, what are you doing? Dude, I had it blocked, what? Shouldn't be allowed to do that. Hey, what the heck? Yeah, uh, where did the other guy go? Question mark? I guess the raid's over? Oh, that's so confusing. Um, okay. Congrats to Beanin, I suppose. The raid is over. Bro, get out of my bed. Go find your own. Well, in a weird turn of events, I think the raid is over. I didn't win it. Just kind of stopped. Once the iron golem killed me, the raid bar went away. Did it? Did the game mercy rule me? Oh, I gotta get these guys out down here. Well, I guess I'm going to mark that a success. I mean, no villagers died. I died a ton. I didn't lose anything. And the fort stood up. Not a single pillager spawned within the walls of that fort. So that's good. I've learned the areas that it has weaknesses. And I've also learned that apparently you can get mercy ruled by a raid in Minecraft. Good to know. Well, I'm not quite sure how to process uh, what just happened there. Like I said, we know everything works as it should. The villagers are safe. I am not so safe, but you know, that's just a side effect of being me. And we know it can take a raid without any issues going on inside of the walls. Next episode, we'll work on the farms around here, get our food farm sorted out and improve things at the house making sure we have a good furnace system, a good fuel system, and even an automatic bone meal farm. I hope you enjoyed watching today's episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. It helps me out, and it motivates me to make more videos if you like them. Until next time, this has been another Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Beanin. Peace.